Hey folks, Quill18 here. I am at Gamescom and I'm sitting down with a early build of Battletech, the upcoming game from Hairbrain Schemes. That's and I'm us. here with yeah. Mitch Gittleman. I am the co-founder of Hairbrain Schemes and one of the developers on this game. And you're gonna help me not lose. That is actually not a skill set I have. <laughs> uh, I actually suck pretty hard, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I mean, it turns out like playing video games and talking is pretty hard. Playing video games and having an actual conversation is insanely difficult. So Hit skirmish. we're going to see how we go. There now, we go. I have played this at PDXCon. This was a few months ago. I believe right. it was the same as the first backer beta. Uh, a little more advanced than that. Okay. But and this is beyond. It was a skirmish, but many things have changed since the last time True I played. True story. Mm -hmm. So why don't you uh, go down to Red City? This is a map never before seen. And also, yeah, Martian Sunset's right. Uh, make your, uh, let's see, value uh, cla war 25. What is it good for? And then go up to, from heavy assault, let's do heavy cavalry. I like using cavalry because they all have uh, jump jets on them and... Every single one of these will have jump jets? Damn straight. Fantastic. <laughs> and then over to the enemy, what I like to do is hit random, because mm -hmm. I don't like to know what's going to happen. Now, they'll still have the same value as us. That's correct. It'll be fair, Yeah. probably. Now, one of the things right away are that our mech commanders over here, yeah. our pilots, have... Oh, we're the mech commander. Those are the mech warriors. They're the mech warriors, yeah. yes. We are going to have two skills on these. Which That's right. Is very yeah, this is a new change. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, our backers are really uh, enjoying that in the uh, backer beta right now. So uh, yeah, one of those. So they have a sensor uh, lock up there. Uh, there's a bulwark that. Uh, ooh, look at what you did. Ooh. So yeah, if you uh, scroll down a little bit, there you go. There, you can see. Ah, so there's excellent. sensor lock. Oh, that's evasive movement. That's good. So she'll get some extra evasive. Uh, when we get in game, I'll tell you all about that, because that's a nice change that happened based on feedback to our backer beta. So that was really cool. All right. Uh, that, that mech warrior there, uh, Kraken, who uh, sounds a lot like Draco Malfoy, uh, he, he also has multi-target, so he can shoot at two mechs or three mechs at the same time. Yeah, I, the, I uh, played around with this ability in the previous build. And it was really helpful. In yeah, it really was. Yeah. And there, there are some great combinations. If you have that and another mech warrior ability called Precision Strike, okay. that gives you a bonus to hit if you only fire one weapon. So you can you know, multi-target and they have one weapon per and have a precision strike on each one. Oh. Things like that. So there's all sorts of interesting So even uh, though you're firing three weapons, it still tri it triggers precision on each one. Right, exactly. That, well, that sounds pretty yeah. useful. So we'll talk more it. about these uh, abilities when we can actually use them. I think it's way more fun. Let, let's shoot stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like shooting. Uh, one of the things that, that I liked about the, uh, the multi-targeting and why it was so important is because different weapons have different sweet spots for their range. Yes. Some are short range, some are very long range, right. um, and can't really be fired close up, so it lets you really use all your weapons to the maximum potential. Yeah, definitely. That's a good point. All right, so this is a brand new Whoa. map. Yeah, yeah. So this is not a terraformed planet. Uh, here, uh, yeah, tilt out. Yeah, that looks like hell. <laughs> wow, nice and smoky. I heard there are sandstorms on this map. There are, and they act like forests on other maps. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can see them all over the place there. So that's one of the areas that you might want to get to. There's also a lot of rough ground here that if you stand on it, you uh, have a higher chance of falling down. And nobody wants that. Oh, so it like negatively affects your stability. Yeah. Well, you can mouse over it later, and you can take a look at what it says there. And uh, there's uh, all the way in back. There's a crater. If you keep going back, keep going back, keep going back. Right. Wait a minute. Pull back this way. I think right around here somewhere. There. Yeah. Oh. There. That crater is filled with water. All right. And so that's pretty much the only water on the map. But that's an important point. If your mechs are starting to overheat, you want to get in there and cool them off. Now, if I understand correctly, from the last time I played, the balance on heat has changed. That's correct. Yeah, we've reduced the uh, heat's uh, effects uh, and when you overheat based on fan feedback or uh, audience feedback, backer feedback. Backer cool. Feedback. I'm just going to run up into the middle. That is what I would do, yes, right. because that's where the shooting is going to be. Sounds like fun. Let's yeah. get this started. Oh, movement rate's a lot slower on that one. Right. So uh, we're coming up on, when you finish this move, I'll show you one of the big changes that we made based on feedback uh, that's really working out well for us. Uh, when you played the game, uh, there, was a, uh, there was something called evasion in the game. And if you sprinted and did a full move like you just did, 
then uh, you would get into what we call an evasive state and you uh, were very, very hard to hit. Yeah. Um, based on feedback, what we did now is, you see how there are chevrons above each of your mechs Standing now? Yeah. The farther a mech moves, the more chevrons it earns. And I can see that happening over here. Right, the max exactly. The distance I can do with the apex, or I guess the victor, is looks like four chevrons worth. Right. I guess because you're just not that fast. That is the that's your heaviest mech that you have. That's an assault class mech. So yeah, that that would be hard. You can get higher. There are certain uh, mech warriors that have the evasive move ability, and they add an extra chevron. So what the chevrons do is, uh, the more chevrons you have, the harder you are to hit from the enemy. Mm -hmm. So that ma makes faster mechs more defensible, you know, and so they survive <laughs> a little bit more, which is good. And uh, the feedback we've gotten is really good. See, you're in the sandstorm, so if you uh, whenever you see uh, that one of those green dots, yeah, yeah, then you're gonna take less damage if you're hit. That's what I've been doing. So the covers is something. Is it like 25 percent, something like uh, that? Oh, that's right, 25 percent. And if you click on, uh, see, we won't go into turn-based order until we actually encounter the enemy. Mm -hmm. But uh, when when it's your turn again, just click, uh, just move your uh, cursor over to the right a little bit. I think I for the, the ground shake, so I'm pretty yeah. sure they're moving. Yeah, around. they're ha oh, it's happening. All right, so just select anybody, and yeah. then move Standard. over to the r just mouse over the right. Now you can see it says rough terrain oh, there. Oh yeah, and I can see the little dots. Right, right, right. Indicator. And I'm not wearing my glasses, so I don't know what it says, but I believe it gives you about 150 percent chance of getting knocked down. Yeah, stability, right? or damage, stability damage is increased. Plus four difficulty to hit units within rough terrain. Oh, with melee attacks. Right. Okay. Which are awesome. I love melee attacks. Oh, in this game. there's only one thing better than melee attacks. Death from above. <laughs> Which I, I've uh, no, I have done. I have done, and I guess we've all got the jet, uh, the the jump jets here, so we can. That's do right. That. That, that's why we do it. <laughs> I can get anyone else into cover. I hear ya. Yeah, it looks like plenty of ways to break line of sight here. And line of sight is one of the most important things in the game. If you can't see them, it's hard to shoot them. But one of your mechs can be a spotter for another mech. So if one of your mechs can see it, another one of your mechs can arc missiles over a mountain and things like yeah, that. Yeah, indirect fire stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. I want to keep an eye on all the different angles here. Yeah. I have no idea what the AI is trying to do. Oh, that's one of the biggest updates in the game right now. Our AI has been massively improved. You're just making a mess as you I, want. Look at all these fires as you step all over I'm everything. I'm a few buildings. Yeah. I hope that's not damaging my mechs anywhere. It is not damaging your mech, but it's not. Uh-oh, we have contact. There we go. It's about time. 65-ton mech. I love this, by the way, the, the sort of un not knowing exactly what that is if they're right. just out, outside of sensory. And that's based on your mech warrior's abilities. So some mech warriors will get actually more information than others. So Wait, now we're in turn-based gameplay, and so it goes light mechs go, then medium mechs go, then heavy mechs go, and then assault mechs. And it looks like the enemy has one of each, too. Uh, I think we only got, I think so we only know about two over here, two under the, the oh class really? Three. All right, well it was yeah. random, so I can't wait to find out what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So this is your last move. Uh, oh, so right. Oh, that's right. You're uh, now what you're doing is you're no longer defaulting to sprint, so you're going to walk, and from there you can uh, actually shoot if you have line of sight. But you don't have a red line there. Try going up on the hill, see if you can get anything. Uh, maybe if I did a jump, I might Let's be able to. Let's try it. Let's try it. I love jumping. So I have the one. jump jet. Right. And then, there oh, it is. There we go. Now, the That's problem is, I'm going to do this with my light mech. Yes. And expose my light mech and probably get obliterated. Now, here's the thing. That uh, that used to be true. The oh, difference here is look at all the chevrons. Yes. It's all about the jump length that you do. In this case, size matters. Okay. So we can really do a lot of crazy hit and run stuff. Although we'll I just realized out. that this fire starter Stop, is loaded yeah, with flamers. Exactly. So I'm about to advise you not to make this move. But we illustrated that nicely. So I have a suggestion for you instead. Don't jump up there at all. Hit escape. And uh, run up where you can get some cover behind one of those buildings, oh, maybe. and just get ready for when they move yeah, wait, There's another thing I'd like to show you that is all part of the evasion system that we've revised. Maybe over here? Yeah, that's cool. So you click there, right? Facing's important, so you don't want to turn your back to the enemy. Mm -hmm. And now when we get there, you can use one of uh, uh, your showboat special abilities. So go down to sensor lock. Oh, yeah. All right? And click that. And then that mech that just moved, uh -huh. right? Click on that one, right? And that will reveal that mech. Oh, you can sensor lock even without line of sight. Right, exactly. That's the whole point, is to get line of sight before you're normally able to. But it did more than just that. It actually reduced it by two chevrons, right? The sensor lock made it easier to hit. 
That is awesome. very powerful. Right. So that's all about using your mechs in combination now. Mm -hmm. So you set, one mech sets up another mech, right? And so if you wanted to, I'm not suggesting it necessarily, but you, this mech warrior right here, Kraken, also has sensor lock. Mm -hmm. You could hit him again with it, reduce it by, uh, he only has one left, and then he's uh, completely vulnerable to uh, attack, and then it's all based on your range modifications. Right, I guess I might as well, because I've only got an LRM5 pack. Right, uh, so, so you can't get close. What if you jumped up there with him? Now, what is he? Oh, so that's a Shadowhawk, uh, and Shadowhawks are very versatile mechs. It's got weapons at each weapon range. Mm -hmm. So you could probably do some more up there. What I like to do, reach. oh, you can't reach it? Well, then, yeah, maybe a s second sensor lock isn't a bad idea. I do that all the time. I like it. So I'm going to yeah. just scooch up to the base right. of the mountain. Right, that's what I would do, too. Keep my own personal line of sight. Yeah, cool. Uh, turn a little that yep. way. Yep, yep, yep. So we can't hear the voice, but right now it's it's almost definitely uh, Draco Malfoy. All right, so you hit him again, right with the sensor lock. Boom. All right, reduces him. Yeah. And now it's completely gone. Yeah, I can't wait deviation. for next turn. Let's uh, each, see what uh, each chevron gives you how much dodge. Well, it's plus two, and that means different things uh, based on where you are in the game. There's okay. a it's a calculation, but in general, just think of it as plus two for each chevron. All right. There you go. Yeah, now right. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna have to do this, even though it's going to expose me. Can I get only one mech? Well, this one here. Although. Um, yeah. So what you could do there? Oh, you don't have multi-fire, multi-targeting with that particular uh, mech warrior. No. Uh, bulwark, but that's about it. Right. Bulwark. That's for standing still. If you stand still, you get a you get a bonus to your defense. Yeah. Well, I might go here. So, so what will happen here? Mech. The interesting oh, thing about this right. one is. Um, you're, you're targeting a sensor trace, uh -huh. so you won't be able to know your to hit number before you make that move. It, with the mech that's exposed, you'll know exactly what your chances are to hit before. Right. Why don't you click, for example, uh, you know, move up so that you can see them both, yeah. that you have line of sight on both. Okay, so right Go there. ahead and click right there. Oh, it gives right. me a second chevron. Right. Too, so. Now, mouse over the uh, Yonder mech. You get all your stuff. Right, but if you mouse over the other one, you don't. Don't know. So. What you could do is move up there mm -hmm. and then, you know, take your best shot. But I warn you, you see the uh, red uh, eyeballs yeah. above the enemy mechs? That means that mech will be able to see you too. Yeah, I assumed multiple lines right. of sight. So yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if what I should do is perhaps just expose myself to one, take a shot. I don't know what the odds are going to be, yeah. but at least the other guy won't be able to shoot me without That's probably moving. what I would do. But that again, I'm a terrible train. player, so we'll find out. All right, let's give it a try and All see right. what we can do. So this is the... What's this mech? Oh, it's the quick draw mech. Yeah, so All he's loaded lasers. with six medium lasers. He's very dangerous that way. But he also, mm, not That's really good. Bad. Oh, you might want to sensor lock him. Yeah, because right, I couldn't you couldn't see, see the, that. Yeah, right. And then it's going to be up to your big boy. Yeah. Now you can't. You know, your your big guy. If if uh, if uh, that mech warrior has the multi target, we might be able to take advantage of both of them having been sensor locked because that guy moved. He got a chevron back. He's, He's also right, so yeah. he has 50% damage reduction now because he made that defensive yes, move. Smart. Oh, right. we have no long. Oh yeah, no, no because it's the cavalry type right. of set. No long range weapons at all. Uh, if I go here, I at least we'll be able to yeah, see. Try this jumping. Guy. See if you can get a better line of sight on anybody too. Sometimes it, here, there. Look on top uh, to the right a little bit. The right away. Yeah, right there. See if. Yeah, right there. See it. Just click, and then you can mouse over them and see what your chances are. Okay, that one's not that great. That's better. Still. That, so with an auto cannon damage. 20, that's the most powerful weapon in the game right there. So 70% chance with that, I would take those right. on. Are yeah. you going to heat up a little bit using the jump jets? But uh, I think you're going to be okay here. Okay. All right. So uh, what's breaching shot? Attacks with a single weapon, ignores cover, and right. guarded. Yeah, we used to call it precision shot. We changed it to breaching shot because it, it, uh, it was more indicative of what was really happening. So I wouldn't use multi-target. No. I would just put everything into the Jaeger mech. I can just click on him. I yep. Think. All right. Fire. Make him pay. And that was uh, a miss. That, wow, that's terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, though. 70% of the time, you miss all the time. All right. You got a couple of hits on the center torso, which is where the engine is located. Mm -hmm. So that was useful. Well, the center torso is what kills him. Or both legs? Yeah. Both legs. Yeah. I do that all the time when I use Death from Above because it damages your legs if you don't have a special ability called Angel of Death. That's a good name. So I love we it. don't have any sensor locks anymore. 
Uh, well, you 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 do with Showboat there. Now remember, she's ultra short range. What I would do here, if you don't mind, uh, is I would hit reserve for her. Wait until they move up a little closer. Right, and also try and get behind. Okay. So, yeah, good. So we'll wait for next time. Just she'll bide her time. Well, she's pretty safe now. I mean, yeah. Because uh, this one, I don't remember. I always I think. Know first of all, it's battle tech. You're never safe. Yeah. <laughs> so, if I was, I could reserve both because absolutely. they're going to be moving on. If turn you want, three. sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then see what the enemy does. He's going to move in, which is perfect. He's moving right towards your mech with the its heaviest weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -oh. Is that my heat meter? Jeez. Yeah, you're real hot. Yeah. What I would do with him, if you can, is melee. Because you won't use any of your, your weapons, uh -huh. and so you'll save a lot of heat that way. All right, now you got three mechs ready to go. All right, so the and the important thing to remember also is, uh, looks like is do I not wearing my glasses? So on one, does does the enemy have any uh, mechs that are able not to use on, on one? one. No. no. So this is it. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's where's the last? I guess he's already one, two, gone. three. Because I think he had two on three. He must have had one on four right. that I didn't know. Yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's take a look over here. Mockingbird uh -huh. is way over here, still pretty far. Right. I think I'm going to start with uh, maybe the quick draw here. All right. Uh, that's the bulwark sensor lock. Yeah. And so if you click once, then you can mouse over and see exactly. where the odds are. Right. Um, that's good. You can't on that one because it's a sensor trace. Yeah. So just escape to go back, I guess so. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the sensor trace. Right. Um, any advantage? Do you get height advantage for your you shooting? You do. You do. So would this be enough? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I just saw you could do that from above now. It's not a great idea. Well, you wait till they're damaged a little bit yeah. more. Because I could go super high up here. You could. Although I'm getting exposed by three people who are going to do At least three. Thinking. Click there for a minute. Just let's look around after you've done it. So you see the eyeball on that one. Yeah. Eyeball on that one, but not the one far. Oh, that's true. And there's a fourth one somewhere. Sneaky, yeah, yeah. There okay. you go. Mm. All right, so you yeah, can only be seen counter. by two. But, of course, they can all move, and then who knows what will happen. So you might want to escape out of there and do something else. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering about just still taking a shot at this one. Just try to all get right, as much so damage as possible. So one other idea is to back. jump behind it and shoot it from the back, where the back armor is lighter. You can't quite reach, huh? No. Uh, can you tell what arc this would be from here? What do you, uh, what do you mean if by I that? Let, like, could I tell if I was hitting him in the back or the front? front yes. Thing? You see the you see the ring at the bottom. Oh, There's yeah. a red quadrant yep. lit up. Yeah, that's how you know. So that would be the front. Okay. Right. So that's not going to help us. Right. Oh, and if you right click, yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. It tells you something about the building. Or whatever you're right clicking on, your max, the enemy max, is very helpful. Okay, so if I'm here, I'm actually going to be hitting them from the side. Yeah, which it's is not a little bad bit idea. Uh, yeah, you get a better shot at hitting them, uh, their arm and blowing off the weapon that's in their arm. All right, I'm going to jump over here. All right. Turn this way, and we'll do that. All right. And here we go. Heavy it looks like six. I'm spitting out sludge here. I think it's because of the atmosphere that we're Yeah, it's the with. it's actually the sunlight that's causing it to look like that. Oh. Yeah. All right, so let's take... Oh, that's a pretty good shot. Yeah, good odds. I'm yeah. liking this. Bada bing. Let's go. Come on. Oh, 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 oh that's a good set of hits. <laughs> that was good. Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. Did blow that arm off? Not yet, but you. it's just about... It's really ripped up. So here comes the Jaeger, although this Correct. is an 80-ton mech, so it must be operating on speed one. Yeah. We just don't have the info, right. I guess, because it's a sensor ghost. <laughs> What's that? Because it's a sensor ghost, we don't have the info as what phase it's acting in. Uh, is that possible? Internal structure no. Damage. Oh. Uh, it, should, it should tell you that. I, yeah, it should tell you that. Mm. Okay, Ready let's take a look. Um, I'd still like to pound the same guy. Oh, so this is the Shadowhawk again? Yeah. yeah. So you might want to run this way so you can try and angle it. Uh, to hit roughly the same, same place, arc. like get that arm, because you'll hit one of the medium lasers if you do. Yeah, I don't think I can change the arc, but at least if I go here, I, I'll still have line of sight on him. Yeah, you know, if you click oh, once, oh. you can then again mouse over and see. Yeah, definitely that'll. Yeah. yeah what What do you get? Anything? Oh, that, oh, oh those are huge chances to hit. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Make sure, yeah, make sure you get the red line of sight on him, though. You got it? Uh, all right. I do have it. Yeah, yeah, all right, good. Just making sure. It's it's a little dimmer because I think it's it's partially going through some of the buildings, but I think it's still going to count. Yeah. I hope so anyway. Yeah, it shows that you have a minus to hit because of the uh, terrain in, uh, that's obstructing. Right. But still, uh, but you already know that you know, what your odds are, so you feel now, good. The multi target, is there a cooldown? Is there a penalty to using it? Uh, no, there's no penalty to use it. So I was going to say, I, my LRMs only have a 45% chance, so either I should turn them off. 
so that I don't right. generate heat, or I could multi-target hit the other guy. Yeah, absolutely. That's still oh, a 40% 40 40 chance to hit, but it's, it would be fun. Let's show it off. All right. So click once on that guy, and yeah. then click on the other guy. Uh -huh. And now all the weapons you want to be uh, firing on A remain on A, and then just click to turn everything else to B. There uh, that's it. And then hit fire, and let's watch the fireworks. Boom. And boom. Nice. Hit him right in that arm again, I think. Oh, definitely. I'm pretty yeah. sure that was an explosion. Oh, that's almost. Oh, head hit. Pilot yeah, injury. nice. There you go. Multi-target. It's your friend. So, let's get Showboat in I here. Yeah, yeah no. Uh, I don't know. Well, I could get you up know, there, or I could hop up there. What about that guy in back? How heavy is he? Medium mech. All right, that's probably a decent... So yeah, I mean, you want to try and get like, now. Remember, it's super short range mech. Um, oh yeah. Right. So I'm not sure you're gonna be able like to hit him this turn. What, what? Let me just check your jump jets to see if you can get close to him. Oh, oh, you can get oh him there we go. Oh yeah. No. Yeah, that's that would be to the side. That's not bad. Yeah, I like that. It's yeah. still fair distance here. I mean, I might, you might shoot me, but yeah. Well, that guy can turn around, and who knows. Let's find out. That's fine. No guts, no glory. I agree. What could possibly go wrong? No guts, no galaxy. And, <laughs> and the flamer attacks, I mean, <laughs> I have not seen them in this game yet, but <laughs> in pen and paper, they were always so annoying because all of a sudden you get too hot and you can't do anything. That's so right. The flamers are like being um, a blue magic player in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> the flamers are just a way to deny everyone else fun. Uh, well, luckily, you can only use your flamer three times oh, before they're, ammo, they're yeah. out of juice. That was good. You lit them up pretty good. And you heated him up good. There we go. Here comes the heavy. The awesome. With what? Dual PPCs, right? On the awesome? Three PPCs. Three. As you're about to find out the hard Ow. way. Oh, and he fired one at you. That was smart. All right, good. He's, he's watching his heat mm -hmm. closely. All right. All right. Now here comes your big bad boy. Get uh, nice and close like, with like that AC-20. Oh, or, or uh, that. You can't melee because you're not close enough. Oh, I can only able. get to here. Yeah. I guess the terrain's pretty he's tough. Big slow, well, he's a big slow mech, too. And it's gonna, we're going to hit from the same side. If we can get through the torso and smash through a bunch of buildings. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. This is going to be dangerous. For him. Huge I, I, I predict losing the arm. Um, can I? My heat? You overheat? But that's not shut down. <gasps> that's correct. That's By some the way, I, this is one of the things I'm terrible at is watching my heat gauge. So did you turn something off? No, oh, no. Nah, screw it. I'm a big so fan you're going to take like a little damage. To, oh, there it goes. Nice. And not only that. Did we knock there, him scroll down? over there. Yeah, you're gonna knock him down. Good. Mm -hmm. Now he's vulnerable to targeted attacks. I think the minus one initiative is new. Yeah, it is new. That's good because what you don't want is a mech getting right back up again after you knocked him down. If, oh, this is great. All right, so if you we could move behind him. Uh, no, 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 no. This is so you can melee him and with fire starter specifically. The way, well, any mech that has these small weapons, flamers, machine guns, and small lasers automatically fire if you leave them on after a melee. So you punch, and then you roast him, right? So I think I just click on him to melee, right? That's right. Now, you could also, if you were a moron like me, do death from above right now, uh -huh. <laughs> right? But, uh, yeah, meleeing from behind is probably the best thing you can do. Can I move behind him in melee? Like well, you or? already... Well, so oh, it's going to be from the side. Uh, let's see. Where's the red... Is it flashing? Uh, yeah. Nothing up here. No? As okay. I can tell. Let's scroll back and let me see. So you can actually. I yeah. think I'm gonna be punching him from the right hand side. Yeah. Okay. That's good. His PPC might be in the right hand side, which sounds good. All right. Here we go. Boom! <laughs> he seriously wound up for that one. And just wait for it. There you go. That is Taste awesome. That, I did not realize that. But yeah, that's yeah. Free fire. Yeah. So now he's real hot. Mm -hmm. What's great about? Uh oh. That was a mistake on the AI part because he just used. Oh, he death from above me. Uh huh. When I say it was a mistake, uh, that was actually off. terribly effective. He I took a lot of heat so. from using his jump jets too. There and then a small laser shot too, just to say how do you do. What I like about the melee attack is it's yeah. so much damage and it's always in one area, right? If you hit people with like a swarm of SRMs, right, you right, you do tons of damage, but it's spread all over, right, so it's right. harder to get that critical exactly. kind of punch. Uh, all right, who's this? This is our Kraken over here. Right. Um, I think, you know yeah. what? Death for above, I think it's time for us to start factoring it in. Interesting idea. It's probably not the correct move, but it's a move. It is a move. And all right, oh, so oh, yeah. Oh, he's down. I can do targeted shots. You if can. I can shoot him here. You can. I didn't want to tell you what to do because mm. I love Death from above so much. How do I rotate? Oh, uh, hold down the right mouse button. And there yeah, you there you go. Yeah. So there you go. That's uh, a good shot. This is also it. my multi target guy. 
Yeah, it's interesting, but you have the advantage now. We might want to press it. Why don't you click there and let's mouse over them and see what our to hit chances are. Mmm, tasty. That's pretty good. That's and pretty then good. I should have unobstructed shots for so, my AC. Yeah, so you could here. split your fire. This would be a really great example of a good time yeah, to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's not like I have too much heat, so fire everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so click in. Here, here and yeah. I'll throw another one on just in case. I'm not going to argue with you. Go, to, go nuts. Oh, there we go. I like 90%. And I like 95%. Woo! So we're splitting right. that AC fives. So the auto cannons it's are very medium ranging. Uh, no, uh, the ACs are are, lo are more long range weapons, but five uh, is smaller than ten, smaller than fifteen. Right. So, or you know, if five, ten, twenty, two, five, ten, twenty. So I'm spreading it out, which means you know less less lethal kill, but it also means I'm gonna get the most efficiency out of my weapons. Right. The super high hit rate. So that's going to be okay. Now, can I do, oh, can I do a called shot with this? Well, that's interesting. Uh, with multi, you should be able to. So when you hit fire, let's see what happens. If it asks you for that. Mm, no. It doesn't. That's interesting. I think I would have had to do a single target maybe. And yeah, that, maybe could, be, that could be. Or, yeah, <laughs> that's awesome, the way you're just spreading it out there. Everybody wants some? A bit of that may just be a defect in this particular build, too. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, back up. He looks like crap right now. What's he gonna do? He's oh, he's, he's gonna walk up in melee. Yeah, it looks that way. He doesn't like that guy at all. Yeah. Oh, unsteady. Yeah. Now for unsteady, it's still you have to spend a turn basically standing still to reset that. Yeah, that's one way of doing it, definitely. Also, my heat's getting a little high. Yeah, it is. Uh, that shot went internal. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, your turn. All right. Standing bird. Oh, so. now. You might want to right-click on this guy first. Let's take a look at his armor locations. So what you really want to do with this guy is get on his, what is his left-hand side? I guess yeah. so, yeah. Get to his left, because then you can, uh, you know, there's a big open hole on that side. So yeah, where the big sparking's coming out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good indicator that that's, that's your target. And medium la lasers are good short range. Yeah, so let's take a look. Here yeah, Ooh, uh, not, not bad. Great. If you move back a dot or two, I yeah, think. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Something more yeah. like here. Yeah. And go that That's way. Right. Mouse Ooh, over again. nice still, job. Still not quite as, as high as I might like, but it's I think it's gonna be better. Yeah, better than Vegas odds. Let's go. I'm there. Um there we go. He's really warm though. I just realized That's okay. okay. Shutdowns are fine. I feel the same way. If you take him out, it'll be worth it. That's what I always figure. Yeah, screw it. I'm only out for one round. Maybe a little internal damage. Not uh, bad. Look at all that damage to the center, center torso. torso. He's oh, not quite dead though. I'm not dead down. yet. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> you're in trouble now. Oh yeah, because they can do targeted <laughs> yeah, shots. That's now. right. Yeah, the AI, right. the AI has improved dramatically, yeah. <laughs> as you're noticing by the melting armor. I, on the I don't remember this glowing like either. That was like in there, but we we've done some enhancements to it to make it prettier. All right. Well, I didn't die, so that's good. Congratulations uh, on your not death. My Victor has huge heat, so I'm just gonna punch this guy. Yeah, I like it. So when you click, go ahead and do that once, and then I think if you click down to the dot to uh, right below him, see if that'll work. No, it must be uh, based on the angle or something. Okay, give it a shot. I'll have to I change think. Uh, yeah. where I'm going to hit. Yeah. Well, if All I right. can punch him in the center torso, I'm thinking he's going to die. I think you're going to punch him right through the heart, but I'm going to feel real good about it. All right, let's do Come it. Come on, Molarom, let's do it. I don't like the idea let's of like, turning my back, but... <laughs> yeah, but this guy's got to be got. 100 damage. That was it. And I'm still also ha really happy that the mechs down. don't detonate and take out everyone who's in the No, they don't what we call Stackpole, uh, named after author Michael Stackpole, who used to write about these giant <laughs> reactor things. <laughs> He's still writing Battletech, too. Ooh, oh, my, look oh at that. that's really bad. Yeah, that, so many cult shots. Yeah, that, that wasn't real healthy. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Who needs, who needs torsos? Yeah. Winning isn't ever... Oh, you could do one more of those flamer melee things on this guy. May as well. I think you'll shut him down this time. Uh, oh, no, you won't. He uh, he dissipated some heat since the last time. But still, I mean, so, that's a pretty good way to uh, go. Screw it. You know what? Death from above. Come on. Come All right. Now's the time. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Jump and just click on him. No, you got to make sure to... Uh, here, let's hit escape for you. And then make sure to s click right in the square and make it expand the way it did. Yeah, that's so it right. just did there. Yeah. And now you click there. And now click uh, an angle. I would go... Uh, yeah. Click again. There you go. Oh, so this is where I'm going to end up afterwards? Yeah. Okay. But you see you're going to hit the... Oh, wait. Jump attack I'm wrong. pilot skill. I'm no. wrong. I'm hitting escape again. Okay. Okay. Do it again. 
uh, make sure it expands like that. So yeah. Jump. Yep. Good. Click. Yep. And now click that dot. There. I'm wrong again. I was right the first time. Too late. Screw him. Death from above. Boom. And knock down. And the flamer th uh, even with the the, the, yes. the death from above. That's and you got him down. And guess what? We just blew off one of our own legs. <laughs> Did Death from above does damage to your legs. Uh -huh. Look at your readout. Oh, right down here. there. I was looking yeah, up yeah. here. I'm like, no, no, everything's fine. No, that's hit. That's the guy who just yeah, jumped out. Yeah. All right. So that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your mileage may vary. What's yeah. Your there we go. Like all that. right. Uh, Mr. boy. Uh, so he's dead. No. Yes, that's the guy who's yeah. dead. Yeah. And these guys are shooting my guy in the back. Yeah. Which isn't fantastic. Uh, LRMs. This is my multi-strike guy. Um, can I move and? I can't hit this guy from an angle, although that's rough terrain over here. Although, I don't know, that might still be good, because I think this guy moves... I don't remember the order, because I'm, I'm, I want to make sure uh, that I move my Victor. If you right-click on him and look at his... Yeah, you see it says Heavy Mech? Yeah. Right? So that moves in Phase 3. Okay. Or 2, sorry, it says 2, two. right there. Yeah, and my Victor moves in 1, so this guy's going to get to shoot me in the spine here, which I don't entirely like. It'd be great to... No, you want to get shot in the face, not the spine. That's yeah. just wrong. So... What I'm thinking is, if I were to go here... Let's see. Oh, that's a nice that's, shot. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might still be able to multi-shot with the RL arms, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Now you're standing on a rough terrain, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right. Multi-target. Mm -hmm. All right. You One. and... You. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a good call. There you go. 90% oh, chance of the LRMs. <laughs> this is the only guy with long-range missiles in my lance. Yeah. Got some. Like damage, got some, oh nice, you spread it out, but incoming. Here, a little bit it's of damage. Good. He's still got way too much life left in him though. Cause As again, we're about more, to find out, I think. Shots. I can't imagine what's gonna happen now. Yeah, called shot right yeah. arm. Well at least it's not a torso shot. No, but what's in your right arm? An yep. empty flamer? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it probably is an empty. It I could be an empty flamer. I definitely don't have right. a right arm anymore. That was a medium laser and a flamer. Oh, mouse over the. Uh, oh well. Oh. Yeah. Back to the action, Jim. Let's see what we got Monster here. Up oh, now. It's time for you to just power up your. Uh, oh, just yeah, restart. That's your that's entire it. turn. That's it. That is your entire turn. Back in action. But at least when it comes back up, it goes into a braced and guarded. Oh, that okay. And this guy's just gonna step backwards, shoot me in the back again. And there goes your arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're unsteady, which means you're vulnerable to being knocked I'm down. I think it's going really well, don't you? Everything's fine. Yes, it's Everything's all fine. fine. There's nothing this is to worry fine. about. This uh, is fine. So I think we're going to turn around finally. Turn all I've got left around. is the AC-20. I mean, it is my most powerful oh, weapon. all we have is... It. So you want to go right towards... Front towards enemy. There you go. There uh, you maybe go. Maybe not on the rough terrain. Let me just step back to here, I'd say. Yeah, that'll work. Let's see what your to hit is. Yep. 95% uh, sounds pretty good. Yeah, I'll take so it. So we'll turn that way. Moving out. A little mm. bit of vengeance. But first, it's going to destroy every... I hope there weren't any people in there. We're uh, we're increasing the real estate value of everything that's still left <laughs> Yeah. Here. Oh, wow. That's very optimistic. That's right. Precision strike. Oh, I've got one weapon left. Yeah, right. Bonus. There you go. Look right at that. Right to yeah. yeah, that was good. Here's the 80-ton mech. Their most dangerous mech is still like the awesome that hasn't been touched yet. Well, it's taken some LR. Yeah, it did some serious day. damage, remember? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Can you melee attack with no arms? Yes, they'll, <laughs> they'll give you a big shoulder check. Okay. Uh, I guess I can, uh, I can always death from above as well. That's true. So we're going to have to stand up here. I think get up, stand up. All right. Let's see what you got left. You have machine guns left. Yeah, a medium so, laser machine gun. So I would just melee, 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 melee. Now, or... Or death from above somewhere? Wait, what? That that's would smash I'm, being, I'm always too uh, aggressive, uh -huh. and I'm trying to take feedback thing? to the team from the team. Mm -hmm. One thing you can do is jump him out of the way and just use him for his precision uh, for his sensor um, right. lock, okay. right, to make it easier to hit these enemies. So sensor lock doesn't just eliminate evasion; it would still make it easier. No, it only eliminates the chevrons of evasion, so that wouldn't be a viable target for it. That guy would oh, re it would remove one of does. his, right? And there are only two guys. No, there are three guys left. Where's the third guy? Uh, well, one, one. two, three. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, good time. I think I'm just going to punch him. I, I'm into it. Yeah. 
It's fine. Aggression is the best move all the time. Uh, it's been my... <laughs> oh. It's uh, been my great pleasure to be aggressive at all times. Uh, that didn't do much. Well, it was just a machine gun. Yeah. Why, wow, and a pretty weak punch. Uh, what's going to happen now, I wonder? I don't... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, that, I didn't need that arm either. Yeah, what that was actually was an animation <laughs> bug. He didn't swing at you. That's what happened. But that was uh, a melee attack? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And uh, you paid. And he's still going to fire his little laser at you. Just add insult pew, pew. or injury. Pew, pew. So yeah, I have a head, a leg that's badly damaged, and a torso that's badly damaged. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going great. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, moving into water might seem like a really I good was idea. about so to recommend that. Warm mech. I can still hit him from a flank very nicely. Uh, I can get two chevrons of evasion here. Yeah, not bad. And partial. Actually, what um, if you move to this one? You might get three. Nope, still two. Okay. Here I can get. It looks like I get partial obstruction. Yeah. Well, why don't you oh. click and then we'll mouse over them, you know? But that's your indication of yeah. why. Uh, I think you want to. Oh, that'll work. Good. On good stuff over here. Uh huh. And then some. Yeah. That, oh, this yeah. is going to be fine. This, this is, is still the multi-attack. Yeah, I like the idea of getting into the water, though. I mean, the Shadowhawk is definitely the MVP here. Now the problem will be a little bit of the heat. So we'll see how this goes. We're gonna go. Yeah, it's true. You, you, you. Wow. Um, All right. Let's see. If I were to strike now, oh no, the heat's still totally fine. There you go. So we can get 85% on the AC5, and we can get a 90 on the LRM. Bravo. And a whole bunch of side flank over here. Okay. Mm, some leg hits. He was already yeah, yeah. pretty unstable, although I don't let's know if it's gonna make anything better. Okay, he's taking some serious damage to his arm, mm -hmm. and now, uh oh, this guy's focused. that means, that yeah, you've been doing so much damage to him uh -huh. that, yeah, he's getting furious and it's allowing him to focus more effort. Uh, uh, that's an example. Knockdown, pilot injured. Yeah, that's not good. No, not a fan. No, no, no. Alright, where's my yes, Mockingbird? Right over here. I, though I can keep hitting on that right flank over and over. So, what's the deal with this enemy again? Right click on him also, yeah. Alright, so we want to stay to the left hand side yeah. of him, like you are. Uh, what do you got, medium lasers? Yeah. Right, so you can do about 75 them. points of damage there, plus a bunch of LRM. Now if you do that, you'll do 56 points of damage if you just melee, but there's only a 65% chance. So I would right. prefer to, yeah, I'd shoot. If I go there, here, yeah. 80s, yeah. that's good. Uh, let me just check if we're a little closer. Here, I don't think that would be. Yeah, it's yep. kind of kind of all the same. All right, good. Yeah, well, let's make him dead. All right, this time for sure. Oh yeah, I feel really this. good about this. Oh, right this. over the building. I didn't smash the building. It's a lighter mech. That's right. That's a heavier building. Uh, what's up? Oh yeah, the sensor lock. All right. And all right. And fire with all the things. My yeah. Heat's totally okay. Punch all the buttons. Come on, get through. Knock off that arm. Mm. Oh, we knocked off a leg. And his AC5 is in his leg? No, there was a crypt somewhere else. Oh, okay. You didn't, you didn't hit just in the leg, so that was good. That was very effective. That worked out surprisingly well. I this think is going doomed. way better than I thought. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I sense Doom too, but in a very positive way. Uh, ow. Ow, ow. Okay, yeah, he, he just cored out your CD. engine. That yeah. was that. Okay, this is actually going to just end in tears. More or less, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, we are going to stand up over here. Yeah. And right. now this guy's down. We have no weapons, so I guess we're gonna just melee him. Yeah, yeah. Or I mean, death from above on someone who's down does it? It's absolutely valid. But no. Um, if we melee, do we get the target? Uh, no, uh, you don't. Uh, you'll do a hundred points of melee damage because you're so big. That seems pretty good. And death from above, we've already death got one above. leg that's pretty broken. Yeah, yeah, you'll yeah. probably break your leg. So we're just gonna smash him in the face. Yeah. Well, hopefully the face. That would be the ideal. Yeah, a little curb stomp action here. Boom! Oh! Oh, perfect. I think we. That's hit right gonna to leave a mark up. right there. That's not good at all. Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, showboat. Uh, you are. You are. <laughs> There's. Yeah, you've got yeah. nothing. Either you use showboat for sensor lock, or you just are. Headbutting. Yeah, I think we're just gonna punch him. Yeah. Because sensor lock is gonna help us shoot oh. what, the one weapon we oh. have left on the battlefield. Yeah. 
It's not going to do much. No, I agree. Is he just going to punch me? Oh, no, he's going to move around for a flank. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> since I had neither left nor right torso... Neither left nor right. Everything was basically going to go right into the center. Yeah, it's not good. Now, you see that your fury meter has gone to the top. Uh-huh. So now you have the chance to uh, focus your attack, too. This is sort of a new mechanic. It's the opposite of uh, what we had in before when, when you you know took out a mech, it would start rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Now it's the opposite. Now it's more of a it's come a from behind yeah. mechanic. Exactly. So, so how do I turn this on? Well, let's wait for a minute and see. Oh, uh, it's inspire over here. I see. Yeah. But well, let's wait and see. Yeah. I, uh, I would very much like to finish this guy off if I can. With melee? All right. Uh, or not with melee. No, no, no. Yeah. Sorry. I guess I have to turn and fire. Yeah. Because he's outside of my fire arc, I'm sure. Right. So yeah. what you want to do there is just click. And now just click on the mech. Yep. What you're doing. Oh, there. There you go. Rotate. And then mouse over him. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That's so, that, those are pretty good odds. Yeah, so that's, I'm that's a only lot of turn damage. to the minimum, so I don't expose myself too much. And so just to turn to the left. So inspire is is it aim chance or damage chance? So it's aim chance, and it gives you 95 percent chance with everything, unless you're within minimum range of that weapon, and okay. then it won't affect it at all. So, okay. see the AC five. It's only at 50. I believe you're within its minimum range there. So that won't affect that weapon. It'll turn everything else to 95. And since you're already really yeah, high, there, yeah. I would say, yeah. Your well, tactic, uh, I don't think there's any. Oh, there's nothing. Yeah, you don't have LOS or anybody else. This guy's just going to have to take you it. You know what? With I will actually inspire him. All right. I have no, no guns anywhere else. So we'll just, oh, that's we'll a good point. Might as well use it by him. Yeah, we'll see if it works. All right. And let's call a shot to the center torso. And perhaps end this guy. Turn uh, everything on. Oh yeah, why is it off? Because of heat. Oh, okay. All right. So yeah, the we got enough heat to cover this. We do. Let's go for it. Maybe we can make bum. him dead. Yep. Excellent. Bye bye. All right. Well, if things are still pretty dire, but we haven't actually lost yet. Nope. The uh, is this this awesome is still basically. We are untouched. technically down two mechs, and these technically down two mechs. The difference is that our mechs don't have any weapons left. No. Now uh, the awesome's got super heat, which I guess is why he didn't actually go. Yeah, Here, it could be. Nothing much to do but to try to close as much distance as possible. True. I think you I'll, might want to sprint this. too. Oh, right? that's right. So I have to use that button to sprint. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm just worried that this is going to sprint into suicide. Yeah, it's too bad you can't sprint into the dust storm. Yeah. Yeah. We're just a little shy. <laughs> I'm just still wondering if, like, just yeah, going Yeah, there's, so, there's something there. You can get out, you know, next round. Yeah. If we can force the them to get a little yeah. closer, and then we can definitely Yeah, we shouldn't get too anxious. We might still be able to pull this out. You got three chevrons. That's not too bad. If they don't have sensor lock, they're all going to have to get line of sight. And, yeah. I mean, it's not like the awesome yeah. of the LRM. Yeah, you can see uh, uh, we're closing. All right. Uh, you might want to stay in the water, move up and Actually, stay in the water. I could just brace and get the damage reduction and everything, right? That's true, you could. So I think that's exactly what's going to happen. All right. Let them come to me. Come on. Oh, yeah, he's reset all his heat. Yeah. Well, that, that's a lot that's of heat a, sinkage. Yeah, not only that. Yeah, that. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Yeah. All right. One of the things, we also dialed up the PPC uh, recently so that it uh, also oh, does more um, ballistic type damage, so uh, more stability. It makes you. Oh, more all right. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, I mean, honestly, at this point, I have more rear armor than front armor, so I'm not that worried <laughs> yeah. about getting shot. Yeah, in except the back. for that one giant hole in your rear armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna sprint to here. All right. Good luck. On yeah. Way, everything's so fine. Time. No, I'm very excited to see how this all ends up. Oh, I might have been able to death above him. It would have been suicidal. But at this point, I'm kind of hoping the Victor just soaks a little bit of attack for so that my Kraken can survive. Yeah, let's see what's going to happen. Oh, right. you're so lucky Good with that. Dance. Yes. That was great. <laughs> all right. Here it is. Now. Yep. You can do... I mean, Interesting. I have so your heat is totally gone now. Yeah. Right. Oh, these are really good odds on this guy over here. Yeah. What Maybe. about the other oh, guy? Oh, that's with the move. Yeah. Okay. It's after the move. Right. Yeah. So okay, if I were to click once, there. yep. Yeah. So you could split fire like you've been doing before. Yeah. I I think we may have to. Yeah. Seems that way. Although, there's something important. Uh, click on the Yeager. Is that a? Oh, is that the awesome? Yeah. The awesome. Click on the awesome real fast, and you're. 
shot. I can't see very well because of this light in my eye. Uh -huh. Is there a red outline on where you'll hit him? Uh, no. Okay. No. All right. I think that's because of multi-target. It's sort of an artifact of multi-targeting. We'll fix that before we ship. All right. Turn these both All on. right. Let's go. Let's cycle these. For yep. Oh, either way, the LRM is going to be kind of. Oh well. Cool. But I'll take the shot on the yeah. awesome. What the hell? Boom! 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 Come on. Could be worse. Oh. And swing at a miss. That's unfortunate. Actually, I probably should have thrown the LRM at the Vindicator. Because, yeah, he was a lot lower than I, I yeah. remembered. But I was, I was kind of hoping to do critical damage to one arm. Just to get rid of the PC. But he's assigned to punch. Yeah, he sure did. And it was reasonably effective. Oh, the CT! Oh. <laughs> I thought we would have He just so put cool. it right through your side and into your chest. Yeah. Mm. Well, well uh, Dorothy, we must be up inside the Cyclone. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh wait, now see, you still have all your weapons left. Yeah. Uh, Cause I can go here and rotate. I can get yep. a pretty decent shot at this guy. I'll be you in the can. cover. Although he's you can. also... He is. Win. Yeah, right click on him again. Let's see what kind of damage... Yeah, yeah this he's is gonna go like well for fine. our hero here. He's fine. But... Uh, well, I'm probably gonna take a shot at the uh, Vindicator. Cause he's damaged. And That's what I would, was odds. gonna suggest. So I don't need. I don't think you need to move up that far because he could melee you from there. Right. You might wanna uh, pull back a little. Like I could move here. Yep. And actually get an excellent yeah. shot. Yeah. Uh, that's what I would do as because. Much like yeah. What you really want is a center torso shot yeah, on that guy. Um, hopefully he can't. Get, I don't think he can oh. move fast enough to get behind me. Be awesome. So I think we're gonna be all right. Um, I'd leave the LRMs on. Let's let it fly. Boom! Right in the center torso. That was a good one. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, come on. We got his jump jet. Yeah. That's right. That's it. Yeah. That didn't help as much as I'd like. Oh, he's focused. <laughs> oh, he's focused. <laughs> and... Uh, oh, he's got high. Oh. No, he doesn't. Missing yeah. the PPC. <laughs> this guy's having really bad luck. <laughs> Alright, we're still in this. Yeah, uh, yeah, we are still in this. Yeah. Holy crap, what's I'm gonna happen? I'm hoping the awesome can't shoot me. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think he's going to. He no, might, I think he's got a different plan. I think he just sprinted over there. Yeah. Um, I'm no. hoping that we can yeah. jump jet to behind him. Well, let's just make sure. You don't want to get behind him if his rear armor is pristine, though. You want to press the attack. Uh, yeah, see, his rear armor is still untouched. Yeah. So, now that is a lousy move, because <laughs> you'd put your uh -huh. back to that guy, right? Um... I'm gonna Put it right on top of the uh, building, maybe. Now, not all your weapons will be able, uh, will be very accurate from there. But the awesome will have a semi-obstructed shot. Let's see. Why don't you click once and let's mouse over and see what the. Yeah, yeah. those are not great. All right. I don't know. I mean, yeah. I could go for a little bit further back here. I say death. From Still above. not. Death from above him. Uh, well, my leg. I got one pretty smashed. Oh, leg. that's right. You actually want to win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Although it is 70% times two. If one of those legs lands on the center torso. I thought it was 80% times two. 85. Oh, 85%. Oh, it's a 70 damage yeah. times two. That is a lot of damage. Yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. All right. But yeah, it's a stupid move, so let's do it. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have to put a landing spot, right. which I guess I'm going to put a little further yeah, away from Yeah, I think that's awesome. wise. All right. Let's do All it. Right. It's fine. If this is the end of the uh, the, the game, it's the end good. of the game as we know it. Uh, yep, right you nailed them. Right. Goodbye. So there we go. Are you looking up here? Yeah. You always call before yeah. Pop up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, because you're looking at the pretty. Yeah. I just want to know what the answer is right now because uh, God, I love the pretty. Uh, shout out to Will, our uh, effects artist. Great job. Yeah, it's excellent. Now he just moved away, which is interesting. And I've got an inspire. Mm. Which is kind of neat. Now. Yeah. I'm now is the I, time maybe we'll I can find get it. line of sight. Now yeah, it's going to be a really long range. Uh, what is interesting about this, you know, we don't know what the to hit is because he's a sensor trace. Right. This may be the perfect time to use Inspire because you're going to have a 95% chance with everything. Right, it's right, except you, for mid-range stuff. But you're so far away, it can't be mid-range. Yeah, and so this won't be out of range of anything? Does, do weapons have max range? Yes, okay. but you can see he's, he's within that band. Okay. Right? So yeah, this isn't a bad one. I'd say go for it. I like it. Alright, I can so hit just fire after I move, right? Yeah, after you move. Okay. This is a slow walk. No, he's got a damaged leg. Oh, he does. Yeah. 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 Alright. 
Wait, now you have LOS. You can just uh, mouse over and see. Well, those are really good odds as is. 75 can go to 95. I think I'm yep. going to take Inspire. Yeah. We may as well, we've kind of got to hit I think the time thing. to be conservative is past. Uh, you think so? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, your crazy strategy is working out so far. <laughs> all right, hitting the arm, hitting the arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's you got like a that? lot of huh? armor left. You like that? so much armor left. Yeah, no. I mean, it's an 80-ton mech versus a... Uh, I don't know how heavy the Kraken is. Oh, the Shadowhawks of 55, yeah. I think. Is that right? Yeah, I was right. Oh, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's not going well for our hero. No. Pilot no. injured again. Yeah. Well, that's not good at all. If this was the campaign game... <laughs> yeah. I, I, would, I would have retreated a long time ago. What would have just alt f Ford. Oh, the, the program yeah. crashed. I don't know what <laughs> yeah. happened, you guys. Uh, rage quit. Rage quit. Yeah. Um, I don't think we can kill him with a death from above, and our legs have like. You no will kill yourself left. with a death yeah, from above. Yeah, I think we just got to take the shot. At I think you should take God, the shot. This is terrible. Oh come on, you're being too negative. Well, I'm gonna turn off the LRMs anyway. Save a scooch of heat. Well, I'm still gonna take internal damage. Yeah, screw the heat. Just let's go. Oh, there we go. I can do this. So it's got a low chance of hit. I'm not gonna All kill right. one volley. Yeah, no, you're really trying to win there. I appreciate that. We'll make, we'll make a token effort. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, none of his armor is critical yet. No. Yeah. I'm I'm feeling death here. He's going to move into the uh, the cloud. Yeah, that's okay. We can move there next. Yeah, time. that's what he's doing. And yeah. Oh, uh, good. Right he arm missed. destroyed. Oh, yeah. you just got missed by two particle projection cannons. I would feel really good about that right now if I were you. I you are heating fantastic. up pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's punching time. Yeah. Yeah. It's clobbering time. There we go. Boom. Uh, I'll go the other way. Right, oh, so this is after the move. Yeah, right now. Yeah, that, yeah. Click, that's the angle of attack on there. In well, different scenarios, if you're too close to buildings and stuff like that, you can't do it. So yeah, I would click there because uh, that arm is vulnerable. Oh, I guess so. My, 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 uh, this is right. still going to be in the front mostly. Like, that's right. Front arc. Yeah. If I go here, I at least end up in cover. But I guess it doesn't matter. He's just going to punch me back, isn't he? Uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. So there's the there ability. was something to that whole cover thing <laughs> that, after you click the button. Oh, he's seen better days. Yeah, hey! yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Unfortunately, his PPC in. was not in the arm. Oh, well, that's <laughs> right. They're in, they're in the torso. And scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, that is uh, Battletech. Uh, thank you very much for Very rewarding, wasn't this. it? <laughs> uh, I got to say, this is a heck of an upgrade to the, uh, to the skirmish oh, from the last you. time I played thanks. it. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, great job, team. Yeah. A lot of really hard-working people back there in Seattle. Yeah, the, the AI improvements, um, <laughs> they, they were swell. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, a little nasty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shout out to our AI team, Kevin and Dave. <laughs> well, I think we're going we're gonna to have to wrap this up here. Uh, I'm assuming you know, backers are probably going to get access to this new build at some point. Oh, well, the build is already out there. Oh, that particular here? map, we'll see what happens. Oh, that's right. Our special yeah. map, the Red yeah, City. Yeah, but they, ha they have the fire starter now. They've got the upgraded AI. AI. They've got access to multiplayer now, an early version of the multiplayer. Having a lot of fun with that. Oh, look at that. Ow, God. Ow, yeah, this ow, is, ow, this ow, is ow. devastating. Yeah. Yeah. Good time. And join the forums, too. We really like uh, hearing your thoughts stuff. So go to BattleTechGame.com and uh, tell us what you think. And fill out your surveys, too. Mm-hmm. All right. this time. Well, thanks, everyone, for coming out. Thank you very much for yeah, being my, my guide today. Yeah, uh, I I'm not sure how effective battle. I was. <laughs> like, Everything is fine. Him. Everything is fine. I should, you know, just death from above every round, I should have really... That's the way I do it, yeah. More. Now, there's yeah. a mech warrior skill called Angel of Death that reduces the damage to the leg and actually lets you jump a little further. <laughs> so I try and use death from above at all times with Angel of Death. It's a great combo. Just hop on them nonstop, yeah. Yeah, hop on pop. That's what I do. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time.